in summer and we are into the beachy season, picnic season. So Kona and I are here, right Kona? Talk about what are our favorite straw or raffia bags and we're going to talk about the differences between the two materials. If you've never joined me before, my name is Jennifer, this is Kona Bear, and Gia is our cat. Sometimes you'll see her, so you have to stay tuned because we're going to talk about what is the best kind of bags to use for spring and summer. I'm so excited to join you. If you've never subscribed, please go ahead and do so and always hit that notification bell so you know when I've uploaded my next video. I have brought out five bags which I currently have. Basically, the difference between straw and raffia is that straw is not as durable as raffia. So all of our bags that are made for everyday use um, are raffia bags. And what we want to do is always remember these are water kind of resistant, but they're not made to like be dipped in water because if you were to, let me show you, this is the Rachel Zoe from the Box of Style. I can't remember which summer edition this was, but um, if this were to get wet, um, you just want to shape it again. So if any of these bags ever become misshapen, this is the one from Whole Foods with the 10 by 3 company that helps sustainability and helping women get out of poverty with their trade. This is by Nipporo. We're going to go through all this. So if any of these were to get misshapen like this one did because I was hot, it's 4th of July, this got wet and it just shapes into the shape of my body, then you can always wet it and then shape it back out again. Let's start with um, just a basic everyday to work. And I have used these for work. They work so good. And then we're going to go into weekend wear and then maybe go into the beach. If you want to go to work, you want something that can carry a lot of load. So I usually pick something with more substantial weight. And so I, I, I've been using this one all the time. And this is 10 by three, obviously the company, and it helps women get out of poverty by using their talent and trade and they pay them more than fair wage. I put literally everything I need to do for the day in here along with my bag, which I've showed you before. Let me go ahead and show you. Currently, I'm using Hobo. This is a cute little crossbody that I shortened. I should do a review on this because it's super, super useful. So what I'm doing is I put this down in here and the empty I need to do for work, including my laptop, which is a 13 inch MacBook Pro, I will put in here. The handles make it super easy to handle and put things in really quickly. Like if I just want to put my office keys in here so I don't have to dig around my crossbody, I just put them on the side. That's how I use this one for work. Obviously, if you're working for a corporate place and you need to look professional, you do not want to use this. But our office is very casual, so I'm able to transport all of my office things in here. This is easy to put on the crook of your arm or hand carry. For a while, I was using this one for work, which is by Naporo. It's extremely awesome for two reasons. I like having this option and I like having this shoulder option. And I think it's just really pretty. I got this at Swank Boutique in Columbia, Missouri. But again, I can put everything I need in here for work. And I think when I use this one, I just put my stuff in. I didn't put my bag. But again, you can put your bag in here. This is pretty enough that I didn't have to worry about looking weird carrying this place. So I actually just put my wallet and stuff in here. I'm good to go. So I think my recommendation for work is definitely get something with the top handle because of the fact that it's heavy because you usually have a lot of things that you need to carry to work. Okay, let's take those out. And always be careful with all of your items because raffia does start to snag and it has little pieces. So I've gotten my fingers caught on these little loose pieces and given myself a little cut. So just be careful. If you have lambskin or something like that, you don't want to put your bag in here. Some of these bags are a little bit less um, 
flake, I don't know what to call it, like the fibers aren't coming off as much, but I have gotten little cuts off of these, so just be careful. But they're super durable, and again, they are they can be put, like you can get water on them, but they're not waterproof. This little baby is so cute. Um, this one was from the downtown 4th of July Independence Day Festival, and this was made by a, a man, I think he's from Jamaica, but he brought these to town and he always sells them in the little marketplace that we have downtown on my 4th of July. I like it because of the color and I just like it. I think it's very, very pretty. It has a really good shoulder drop. And it also has a security of a little tassel here. And so if you wanted just to put this here. So this I would call just a purse. I don't think you can put anything else in here but that. So this would be perfect transitioning into the weekend if you just wanted to go to a museum or a park. Super lightweight, a little bit of added security. Summer is just fun. I'm so excited that it's the start of summer. Is it the start of summer yet? I'm not sure. This is designed by Rachel Zoe herself for the box of style. This is a very good tote. It holds a lot I already noticed that this is coming apart right here. So this is why I don't use it for work because it doesn't, it's not as sturdy. But this is perfect for going to the beach and it looks great with completely a white caftan or a white coverall, swimming suit cover up, cover up. You can put your beach towel right in there with your sunglasses, spare money, things like that, and you are great to go. Like that. The last thing is the cutest little thing. If you just want a really good bag that just looks like your, um, I don't know, I just love the look of raffia bags. This one I got from Swank Boutique as well. So I got these two, two years apart, Swank Boutique in Columbia, Missouri, Swank Boutique. She just has a really cute collection of different bags. And this opens like this. I do recommend this style rather than the circle. I think the circle bags are really, really cute, except I just can't hold as much as rectangular or square. So raffia totes come in many different styles. I, I prefer this rather than the circle. I've tried to make circle ones work and I just can't hold as much. Look how cute the details are on her. And I always like my spirit animal, which is an elephant, and then I put a little coin purse here just for fun. This can be worn. I think it looks, just looks so pretty with some short shorts and a t-shirt, maxi dress, really, really pretty. Or like a t-shirt tucked into a long maxi dress, some sandals, you can't go wrong. This would be awesome to go for any kind of a festival or just grocery shopping. So to summarize, you can really use raffia bags for work. And I would recommend something more durable that has a strong top handle so you're not hurting your shoulder. And also you can put things in quite easily like files or your computer. And you can also put your daily bag in there or your bed your purse so that if you want to go to the grocery store, you could just take that out and then leave this in the car. For fun, for every day going out for errands or going on a date, I recommend something like this that has a shoulder just because it's just cute. And then you've got hands for you to hold your date's hand or to have fun doing other things. It just doesn't look as formal with hand. I think that hand carry things um, can look a little bit more formal because you're always having to do this. But whenever you got it crossbody, you can have a party and dance and everything. And then for the beach, Rachel Zoe designed this Rachel Zoe tote. You can have all sorts of things. This feels more like straw. It's not as, um, and if I'm wrong, let me know. Uh, it doesn't feel as strong as this raffia. Let me kind of tell the difference. So for light things, snacks, beach, beach towel, sunglasses, spare change, maybe a change of clothes. 
just a big oversized beach tote. And again, I like how it has the shoulder carry. So the next video I'm gonna do is comparing the Rebecca Minkoff. She just came out with a really cute crossbody um, with the studs, I forget what it's called. And I'm gonna compare it to her original crossbody Mac. So stay tuned and please subscribe if you haven't done so. See you again in my next video.